Final thing worth mentioning to do with sound inside of Premiere is that Premiere lets you edit sound not just on the frame level, but on the sample level. Now this particular timeline that I've got here, this interview timeline, it's AVC HD footage and it's on a 50 frames progressive timeline. So that means I can zoom in on the picture here and I can jump each of these little things here is 1 50th of a second. So I can take that, I can chop it up and I can take out a whole 50th of a second. Same with the sound, at the moment I can only do a 50th of a second on the sound. But if I pop up to the little breakout up here and choose this, show audio time units, I can zoom in even further. And if you remember from earlier on, that was the smallest amount that I could chop before. Now I can chop even smaller. I can grab very, very small bits, delete them, pick them up, move them around, whatever. I can go into a thousandth of a second just by going to audio time units. Now I can't chop the video up in thousands of a second because it's still split up into frames, but I can do it on the audio. And you do that just by going into audio time units. It's useful if you, for example, need to take a piece of audio and it's slightly out of sync and it's not quite a 25th of a second or one frame out of sync, it's even less out of sync, then you can pick it up and move it around and tweak it just by going into your audio time units. I have to admit if I get that sophisticated when I'm doing audio, I would probably grab hold of it and take it into Audition, which is Adobe's sound editing program. They've added some nice stuff to do with Audition in CS 5.5, where you can not just take one clip, but an entire timeline, whack it in Audition and move it back again. So I'd probably do that level of audio editing in Audition, which is better. But if you don't have Audition, you can do it in Premiere.